good morning all uh, today we are discussing about fixed appliances fixed orthodontic appliances uh, we all know that there is a uh, there are different type of appliances uh, used in the orthodontics for the treating different type of malapplications and uh, some are removable appliances some are fixed appliances the removable appliances needs uh, all these appliances and there are all these appliances and either pipe plane uh, clear aligner etc but some uh, there's a major part another part in orthodontics that is fixed appliances uh, mainly the many malapplications are treated with this fixed appliances some are some only a small amount of uh malapplications are treated with the removable appliances this uh, the majority so majority of this uh malapplications are treated with this fixed appliances uh we can uh, different types of tooth movements possible use fixed appliances because in removable appliances we can only possible to move the teeth with in a tipping movement but in by, by using the fixed appliances we can use different type of tooth movement and control tipping control tipping intrusion extrusion uh translation rotation different type of to the one we can do with the fixed appliances next the main components used in the fixed appliances some components of the passive components some are the active components the passive components means they only uh hang the appliances in with the teeth they have no special other role to uh, move the tooth no they have no role in the moving tooth but the active components have the role to move the teeth and correct the malapplication both are important but the active component do the movement of the teeth these are the components passive components example bands brackets buckle tooth lingual attachment Uh, like it's a wire, mm, lock pin, elastic modules, active components like arch wires, elastic key chain, uh, lingual attachments, lingual arch uh, wires, lock, etc. First one, the bands. Bands are mainly placed in the uh, molar. Some case we can uh, also band all the tooth, any tooth, but mainly we uh, cover the molar for molar tooth for the placement of the molar tooth in the molars. Next, the brackets. The brackets. uh this is bracket this is stick to the teeth different teeth and then only we can place a wire in this teeth so the force is trans, uh, transferred from the wire to the uh, teeth through this bracket mainly these brackets are available in metallic and also available in aesthetic type of brackets ceramic type of brackets etc also different types of brackets not by the uh, by aesthetic uh, also by different for the different use different type of brackets are available yes the buckle to, uh, buckle toe we already seen the there's a banding of uh, molars bands in the molars and along with tooth or without tooth uh, in your days we mainly used to stick the molar tooth on the uh, molar itself like brackets so the buckle tubes are also available like this some buckle uh, buckle tubes are uh, with for bondable some are not bondable weldable weldable with the already with uh, a pumped uh, molar bands 
means lingual attachments. Lingual attachments means this is lingual attachment. We can uh, stick this lingual attachment on the lingual side of the tooth for mainly for the rotation correction. Next one, ligature bias and elastic modules. This ligature, uh, this is the ligature wire, mainly the stainless steel type. And for the holding the wire on this bracket by twisting the ligature wire like this. Or in modern days, we can use different types of modules, plastic modules, to hold the wire with bracket. In some cases, some old uh, treatments like dead treatment, we can use this type of lock wheel for hold the wire. In this bracket like this. So ligature wire, elastic module, and lock pin can be uh, have the same function. Hold the wire in in bracket slot. Next arch wires. These arch wires are the wires that uh, that are uh, that are active components. That correct the malocclusion, different type of malocclusion, and different different stages during the different stages of the paper. We use different types of wires we can use. The wires, the wires are available in uh, round shape or um, square shape, triangular shape, etc. etc. Also, some different types of materials like uh, nitinol wire, stainless steel wire, beta titanium wire, etc. Uh, so these archways deliver the force to the teeth to correct the malocclusion mainly. Uh, if there is a crowded case like this, we can use uh, nitinol wire to correct for the alignment, etc. <coughs> so wires are also available uh, in metallic and aesthetically available. Uh, wires are also are present, but these are very expensive. For ex some ex uh, ex uh, example, for the uh, aesthetic wires like aesthetic stainless steel wire, is coating. Coating there is a uh, some type of coating, some coating over the stainless steel wire for aesthetic night day. It's also a coating. Uh, another wire is optiflex wire. The, this optiflex wire. Uh, consists of three layers. Uh, the central is a core made up of silicon dioxide, and above that, the center, uh, center part for circulation and the outer part nylon. This uh, is some, uh, one of the most recent wire, uh, aesthetic wire, optiplex wire. Uh, and the type of active com uh, component like Elastics and e chains. E chains are mainly uh, used to retract the teeth during the space closure. Extraction space closure, we can use the uh, elastics like this. Uh, but, sorry, e chain can be used for the closure of space, but elastic can be used for very different purposes. Class 2 elastics, class 3 elastics for box elastic for open by cases, class 2 elastics uh, for correction of class 2 malocclusion, class 3 uh, elastics used for class 3 malocclusions, the settling elastics. The elastics are uh, available in different shapes, the shapes, not shapes, different colors uh, with the different forces, different colors with the different forces. So we can uh, use different types of elastic. As we will do it for the correction of particular malocclusion. Next one is separator. Separator is uh, like it is like a uh, look like an uh, there is a uh, look like an elastics, but not elastics. It is a thicker than elastics. It is used for the separate the break the uh, contact between the teeth. Uh, some some things we can uh, use it for the placement of bands. Sometimes we can use for the um, 
stripping purpose, proximal stripping purpose, we can use this separator. The separators are mainly made up of elastics, but some not elastic. Like so we can also make uh, make separators by wire bending on stainless steel wires. These are these are called Kessling separators. These are uh, commonly available plastic separators. Next one is spring. There are two types of spring, open coil spring and closed coil spring. Open coil springs are mainly used for creating space for a crowded teeth. Uh, and closed coil spring are mainly used for closed the space, close the extraction space. And some other springs are rotational springs for rotation corrections and upgrading spring or upgrading of the teeth. So spring have a different types of spring have different functions. Procedures. The method of fixing attachments on to the teeth. Okay. To a bonding and banding. Bonding means bond, uh, bonding, mainly bonding the bracket or bondable tubes or uh, lingual button, etc. Lingual attachment, etc. The bonding have a Four steps. First one, the cleaning. Clean, clean well the uh, two surfaces to uh, to remove the debris salt, and then we do enamel conditioning using HF. Mainly, we use 37 percentage of phosphoric acid etched on the teeth. This is the this is the etching process. After the etching process, we again um, wash the teeth very well and dry it. So we get an frosty white appearance. After that, we apply a, uh, apply the uh, bonding agent to the teeth. After applying the bonding agent, uh, we take the bracket and uh, take composite on the back of the bracket and place this on the teeth in an appropriate height and with, then cure it. After uh, after curing, uh, it is fixed on the uh, teeth. After that, we can place ashware for the further procedures. The banding. Next one is important. One is important procedure is banding. Uh, I already told as a separator should be given uh, between between the teeth for breaking the contact between the teeth. And then only the bands can easily place on that teeth. First, contact the break. Uh, uh, the contact should be break. After that, the appropriate size uh, of band should be selected and placed on the teeth. There are different types of fixer applying techniques. Uh, the early technique, one of the early technique is back technique. And recently we use pre-adjusted edge technique, also lingual uh, for, for uh, the increasing the aesthetic uh, concern of the patient. So nowadays we can use the lingual orthodontics. So the uh, all the brackets are mounted on the lingual side, so aesthetically, there is no wire on the buckle side of or label side of the teeth, so it looks like more aesthetic. Next one, another type of is tip uh, technique, etc. A lot of techniques are available in the fixer appliance. What are the different stages of treatment? There are mainly four stages in the treatment. But in all malocclusion, there are or stages. First one is aligning. Aligning of the teeth. You can see this uh, uh, teeth are in a different position. So first one is alignment. Then level it. Leveling. Second one is level it. First one alignment. Second one is leveling. Then after the extraction, we should uh, close the space of extra uh, extraction. So we, we can use open coil or closed coil or elastic coil of the space. So uh, for the alignment and leveling, we 
uh, we are commonly used Nike wears because they are good shape and very spring, the high spring back and super elasticity. We, we use Nike. For rip, but uh, for retraction, we need more strength than uh, elasticity. So we use stainless steel wire for the retracting purpose. After that, we again do finishing and detailing. In finishing and detailing, we mainly use night tape for the further alignment and development. Okay. Teeth. These are the four stages of teeth. So, this is a basic idea about the picture appliance therapy.